Big show tonight. My first guest tonight is the host of the Olympics on NBC and the winner of 15 Emmy Awards. That's just tacky for his work as a sports announcer and talk show host. This Friday, you can see the season premiere of his HBO show On the Record with Bob Costas. Please welcome Bob Costas. <laughs> Is that right? 15 Emmys. Uh -huh. That's incredible. Amazing. Thank you, Kona. <laughs> and yet, you have, I, I think many people would love to have 15 Emmys, but you have surpassed that, that great, great achievement with, I think, an even greater achievement, which is you have been immortalized in song. Bob Costas has been immortalized in song. Uh, you know, really, it's no surprise that uh, when Ludacris's new CD dropped, as we say in the hip-hop world, uh, <laughs> that, that I would receive a shout-out from Luda, and I did. You call him Luda? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And, and on, on uh, the CD, he... Uh, this is true. You're not making this no, up. No, not this making is it. Real. He, makes the, he makes the following point. In fact, some of your, your folks out here may be aware of it. He says... Oh, my people have street cred. Yeah. No, no question. <laughs> hey, these are my homies. Conan, we're all just sitting here kicking it with our homies and keeping it real. So... He says, he says, I'll be rolling, I'll be rolling torpedoes, get blunted with Rastas. For a heavy fee, I'm on your record like Bob Costas. That's a line in the song. Yeah. That's great. Rolling up torpedoes, get blunted with Rastas. Have you, uh, have you communicated with uh, Luda before? I mean, how, how did you know that he was going to give you a shout out on I, his latest I, disc? I, I didn't. I didn't. Um, normally, I hang with a rival posse. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, so. As, as, as you know, I ride with Ja Rule, so uh, or, ordinarily Ludacris and I don't cross paths, but right. now you, you never know. Right, right. Are you going to call him or anything and say thanks for that? That's a great plug for my show. See, Conan O'Brien doesn't rhyme with a lot. That's why it has not been used by the hip-hop community. Oh, and the only reason it think, hasn't think been used. Think about this. Conan rhymes with crying. I mean, O'Brien rhymes with crying. Right. Trying, yeah. Lying, yeah. Sighing, yeah. Dying, yeah. Okay, but there's must be <laughs> some reason why they're not working me into more of their songs. I, I can't imagine what it is. I don't know what it Maybe is. Maybe you're not fizzling the nizzle. <laughs> Better than your average nizzle. <laughs> Maybe that's your problem right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, this is. Uh... This is rough for me, that you're well. here feeling sorry for my lack of cool and hipness. You're like, that's rough. Um, when you turn to me to up your street cred, yes, you, you, you could be in a minus situation. Well, you're, see, look, I've got the tie on. Look at you. Well, Costas you're knows to ride with the open shirt, which is, you're the that's on the edge, dude. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you right now. Yep. Let's talk about the summer games. Summer games in Greece mm -hmm. uh, on NBC. That's probably the first these folks have heard about it. Yeah, but, yeah, but they're not, not, the, not the last. I, I predict a barrage of promos. They're going to make the, they're gonna have the Friends final episode takes place in the Olympic Stadium in Athens. <laughs> I'm told. The Acropolis, right? Yeah, and then they all run away with torches. It's, it's moving. Do you think this is going to be a very cool Olympics? Because uh, this is the birthplace of the Olympics, right. Athens. Right, a lot of history there, and uh, the ancient games of antiquity started uh, in Greece, and the modern games were revived there in 1896, so mm -hmm. that's part of the backdrop. Yeah. We didn't need to hear that part, but uh, <laughs> but you think it's gonna? Are they gonna do anything that's gonna recreate the way that the games were done originally in Athens? In in I, I don't even know when they begin. When did they begin? Uh, ah, way, way, the, in, 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 that Luda knows, huh? <laughs> uh, three hundred, three hundred and something BC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. By the time you I'll go have on the air, exact figure by August thirteenth. If, if I watch on in August and you're going three hundred and something BC or eighty, I don't know. Uh, I'll be very that disappointed. Won't that won't happen. What do you suggest though? What would give it? The original games were played nude. Yeah, they were contestants. That's nude. true. I'm not right. uh, I'm not joking about that. The original, all the contestants were nude, mm -hmm. which works for some events. I would think swimming, equestrian, probably not a good idea. No, no, it could uh, could make the pole vault kind of dicey or enjoyable. <laughs> I'm thinking if they, if they reinstate the nude Olympics, mm -hmm. they're going to have to include Viagra and Cialis among the performance-enhancing drugs that are banned. 
Otherwise, you might get a get an edge if you see what Don't I'm driving at. Don't talk to me there. about that. Me. You know, I don't got that problem. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> I got the other problem. <laughs> um, it's incredible that they still let me be on TV. <laughs> Let's talk about your show on the record. This uh -huh. is a fine show. People yeah. love this show. It's on HBO. And one of the advantages of HBO, uh, is it advantage or disadvantage? I don't know how you feel about it. People can curse on HBO. Liberally, if they wish. Yeah, yeah. they can just go hog wild if they want. I don't curse normally myself in my, in my, in my everyday life, but it, uh, if I was on HBO, I'd almost be forced to curse, right? Do people ever feel like they need to curse? I don't think so. On, on my show, on my show, it's pretty much the way it would be uh, if it were on broadcast television. But if somebody, you know, slips it in, then we don't have to worry about bleeping it. Last year, uh, Ichiro Suzuki, the Mariners outfielder from Japan, sure. who's a great, great player, uh, hasn't fully mastered English, so we did this interview, and I think he could understand the questions uh, in English, but he responded in Japanese, and then we used a translator, and it was mm -hmm. a very effective device uh, through the interview. And the last question I asked him was, what's your favorite American expression? And he sat back and took a moment, and he was uh, considering whether he should go there or not, mm -hmm. and then in English he said, favorite American expression, August, in the Kansas City, it's hotter than two rats in a wool sock. That's, yeah. Yeah. I, now, I'm figuring... You realize this is an HBO yeah, now, I'm right? I'm figuring... <laughs> I know we're not live, and I'm figuring that gets bleeped by 12.30 no, no, tonight. No, we let that person go tonight, because I thought, it's Bob Costas. It's Bob Costas. He's not going to swear. I told the beeping person, go home. The person who's here when, you know, Chris Rock is here or something, right, handling right. the button, I told that person Gave to go home. Gave the guy the night off. I thought, it's Costas. He's not going to be swearing and talking about hanging with his homies, and look what happened. So, so now, who, who do you suggest should host the Olympics now, this summer on <laughs> yeah, NBC? not you. It looks like it's going to be me. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to see that. Well, trust you, me. you know, when you, when you think about it, though, yeah. here's, here's Ichiro, a very bright man. But his teammates, and when it was over and when I'd stopped laughing, he said, I have very bad teammates. And obviously, <laughs> yeah. they put him up to this. Right. Because as we all know, that expression about two rats in a sock in Kansas City is a well-known American expression. Yeah, it's, it's like you're not hearing that <laughs> right. all the time. It's a cliche. He was coached. That was written on his yeah. arm, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, the fourth season of On the Record with Bob Costas premieres this Friday night at 11 on HBO. And it's, of course, a superb show. Thank you so much for stopping by. Great to see you. Come You've on. always been a good friend of us. Bob Costas, Brian Cossain, come on, take a break. We'll be right back.